that was the greatest gift I got. I got to see what it looked like to be what the world considered successful. And I didn't, and it wasn't for me. Mm. (laughs) And uh, I saw what it looked like for all these people to have more money than I could potentially ever, I could even dream of having. Flying in jets, going to islands, having everyone carry your bags and do everything for you. And I couldn't find anyone that I was like, I want my life to be like that person. That was the experience that I got in my early to mid thirties. And so then I just made my life the way that I wanted. What I wanted was I wanted kids and family and time with friends. And, um, I, you know, I turned down a lot. They offered me the gig, uh, you know, the gig to run the whole company. I I got offered that a couple of times, but it was going to require that I move my family or move away from my family or travel all over the place. And there were things that I wanted. It's not for everyone, but I just wanted to spend time with my kids. And so I said no to a lot of it, but then I was, I, I tried to make my way and, pursue things that were interesting. So I did a lot of things. I did venture capital, private equity. I had my own, my own investments. Um, eventually my passion ended up being that, you know, I'm just, I just like business and I became a really good investor and running of businesses. And the key thing for me was I didn't, I only wanted to spend time with people that I liked is what it got down to. Um, I didn't want to, There wasn't any amount of money that I was going to be, you know, spend time with people that I thought were terrible or I don't want to say they were terrible, that I didn't want to spend time with. 